So my name is Mushraf Aska and I am from Dewsbury. So six years ago I was actually on a TV show called Educating Yorkshire where at a young age I suffered from a severe stammering problem. What's it like getting through school with a stammer? <laughs> Hard. With the help of my English teacher, I actually overcame that speaking problem using a technique from the movie The King's Speech. So I put some headphones on and I put some music on and it just all came out. And it's only because I watched The King's Speech quite recently, all right? Okay. One thing he does, right, when the... Because it's a very similar thing to you in that you just can't get the words out. But what, one thing he does do is he makes him listen to some music, right? And then when he's listening to the music, gets him to do it again. Okay. Yeah? Okay, that's right. Go for it. One, two, three. That I own this. It's the same moment when the trees earn loose. The soft arm from around you, the birds take back their language. The cliffs... Fisher. The, the cliffs fissure and collapse. The air moves back from you like a wave and you can't breathe. <laughs> That's insane. It's something I never thought I would ever do. It's been six years since Educating Yorkshire. Today I've actually spoke at the Princess Diana Awards. It was a massive uh, opportunity to actually showcase what, what I can actually do. Uh, it was amazing seeing how many kids actually at the ripe age of five years old that have basically gone out there and achieved something and motivated and helped someone else out there. So it was just a little speech that I gave and I'm just so fortunate and humbled for the opportunity. I, I still can't believe <laughs> that I'm basically in a situation where I'm able to motivate someone else. Like as a kid, I was the, the kid who needed the motivation. And now I'm in a situation where I'm actually going out there and helping kids to realize they're actually true potential so it's amazing and people are a lot older than myself as well and I'm just like it's, it's just all amazing and I just it's so much to actually take in as well. I'd say my sort of advice to teachers that are seeing kids that are getting bullied or finding it quite challenging actually teaching those kids I'd say just get onto the same level as the kids and once that kid opens up you never know that kid could be standing and delivering some teachers and I think with myself and Mr. Burton, it was not a teacher on the student relationship, but it was just like a, a friend helping a friend. I'm very proud of yourself, you ought to be. Sir. Come on. It's fine. Sir, I appreciate all of the help you are really? giving me. And I. Appreciate the help you're giving yourself. It's yeah, super. Yes. Really impressed with you. Really proud of you. Yeah, yes. Sir. Keep it up when you'll be. Yeah, yeah. You've been opera singer by the end of the year. <laughs> I say in this day and age, I say just a card. You know, there are times where people say you can't, you can't do it, you can't do this, you can't do that. I got labelled as a kid who would never be able to ever speak again, but I pushed and I crawled and I made sure I could. And I think my advice is just keep moving. Oh, it is tough. I'm not here to basically say it's an easy job. 100% it's not. But with hard work and consistency and determination, you will overcome it and those dreams will become reality. But it all starts with yourself. Mm -hmm.